What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another time, big time video. Another epic unboxing. This one is another Evergon. Stay tuned after the intro. We'll get right into it. Alright, so, you know I've been doing this a lot lately, uh, Aragon drops a new watch, I gotta get it, so this is no exception, get right into this bad boy here, so this one I opted for a steel dial, because I've got, I've got red, I've got black, um, I've got gunmetal, I've got um, aqua, I've got blue, but I don't have anything that's like a, a steel from Aragon. So I figured this was a good choice. I'd like to buy all of them, but I'm not that rich. So went with one and I went with the steel. This is the Matador. 50 millimeters. Oh yeah. Let's get this off right away. And there you have it. This is a uh, date red is what wing calls it. So it's a modified NH35 where the date actually is red and all 31 days are cut out on the dial. So that red spot rotates daily. So pretty cool, different. I love the steel bezel. Um, that's really what attracted me to it. And then it's like a steel sunray color. Super, super dope. Let me fix the tripod and I'll show you more about the watch. All right, so now cleaned up a little bit. <clears throat> so number one thing that attracted me to this besides sapphire crystal is the steel bezel and the knurled crown. So screw down crown with the knurling on it, easy to grasp, easy to turn, uh, just makes sense on a crown, right? And then a steel bezel, not much going on, some holes drilled into it, and then you've got loom at the 12 o'clock, and you've got the 15, the 30, and the 45 minute hour markers on the bezel, actually with numerals on them. Then you've got this awesome steel colored uh, dial <clears throat> and then black hands and black hour markers I think that just looks super good this is unidirectional nice and tight sounds crisp and then we've got sapphire crystal it's a 24 joule uh, modded NH35 that like I explained in the, the beginning of this video where we can cut out this uh, dial to show the date wheel red. So it moves as the date moves and it just, that number that's red is obviously the date and today is March 3rd. So it's set correctly right now. Uh, another cool feature that Wing showed in his video on uh, Aragon on YouTube is uh, the bubbly case. So you look at it, it's really smooth. It's got like a little bubble shape to it. Different than anything else I have in my uh, Aragon collection. Bracelet looks very similar, but it's not to the uh, anti-gravity bracelet. But this one is rounded where the anti-gravity is actually like um, hexagonal, hex hexagonal, I guess. This is uh, actually just rounded. And wrist check. I've got an Android Horizon on today. Booyah. And if you didn't know, Android was made first. And then they switched their name to Aragon. So Android is also a Wing Liang creation. Now, another feature 
is the glide lock. Diver's lock, diver's clasp, however you want to call it, ratcheting. And you've got the milled clasp as well. So I'm loving what Wing's doing right now. And I know a lot of us are eating these up like candy. Um, he's given us a lot of a lot of watch for our money. And uh, I appreciate it. And I'm showing my appre appreciation by continuing to purchase. So um, I've bought almost every watch in the last like six months, maybe, that's came out. I've bought almost every single one. Um, I didn't opt out for a couple. Uh, one or two of them were quartz. And I don't do quartz. But for the most part, and I don't, I do quartz, but I started something with Aragon that I want to keep full auto. I want to keep all my Aragon auto. I just feel like it's something I've never been able to do in my watch collection before. And since Wing offers so many that are auto, um, it's easy to do it with Aragon. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not, nothing against quartz. I love quartz. I have many quartz watches. I just, uh, I always do something like this where I get like a little theme that I want to do and I stick to that and that's what kind of motivates me to continue to do what I do and to be a little more choosy as I have this theme going so the theme is full auto only now all this stuff that I'm showing in this video you can see on wings video on, on YouTube as well I think it's called Aragon or Aragon watch um, on YouTube but he's got the decorated rotor nice blue anodized with the Aragon wing engineered on it, this is model A462. You can see there all the good stuff we engineered. Let's try to get that to focus. And SII NH35 24 joules Japan movement, water resistance 660 feet. Then we come around to this side. Stainless steel, sapphire, A462, Aragon. So yeah, beautiful watch. I'm super stoked that I got it. Let's play with that date. Let's show you that date, how that switches. So I just undid the crown. Now it's unscrewed. Now we're going to pop it to the first position and turn towards us. And you're going to see that three go to the four. That red, there you go. You see? And continue to the five, to the six, to the seven, to the eight, and so on. And then like any other watch, you pull it all the way out and you can adjust the time. So amazing, different, something unique to my collection. Um, it was hard to pick a color choice, but I went with something that goes with everything basically. This steel dial, this looks great. And... Um, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys got if you picked one up. I'm curious to see what you got. Uh, I'm not going to do the sizing on this one. It's just like any other Aragon. Um, the links are not center, are not um, symmetrical as far as the mount. So if you look at it right now, we've got two extra links on the what side is this? 12 o'clock side. Then we do on the 6 o'clock. So I'll be removing one or two links from this side. And then uh, once I'm done with that, I'll resume the video and show you guys wrist shots. Booyah, we're back. So now you can see its size on the wrist. Good looking watch, man. I like it. I like it a lot. So one thing, I didn't show the sizing in this video. You know, I figured uh, you guys have seen me do it a million times. It's a, a cotter pin, a rolled pin type bracelet. Super simple to size. So I didn't put it in here. I have plenty of other videos where it shows the sizing. Almost almost all my Aragons that are brand new unboxings, the sizing is in there at the end of the video. So I spared you on this one. And then it turns out that I took out three links. Every Aragon I size, I take out one or two links max. And I can show you this by the links I have sitting here. Um, all right, I've got a Virtuoso. I've got a Silver Jet. And I've got a Millipede. And two is always a number. And I took out three out of the Matador. So if you have a, a larger wrist, this one might fit you. If you got like a nine inch wrist, uh, where most of them, you know, fit maybe eight and three quarters or something. That one I actually took out three. And I was really surprised. And I still have a little bit of wiggle room. 
and I have the divers class that I can adjust to if I needed to. So, um, anyways, thought I'd mention that on the wrist. It looks amazing. Now we got to do a loom shot, of course. So let's charge it up. I have not seen a loom shot on this either, and we're going to experience this together. So I really don't know what to expect. And there it is. Booyah. So you see the 15, the 30, the 45, and the 12 o'clock glowing blue. And then the actual uh, dial, the hour markers in the hands glow green. Super sweet. You know, uh, Wing always does very well with the loom. So I would expect nothing less anymore. But beautiful watch, great design, a lot of features for the price. I think this was 190 um, shipped to me, 190 something. But um, for the amount of watch you get, definitely worth every penny. I'm happy. So anyways, if you order one, leave it in the comments. Let me see that big time gang, hashtag big time gang. And I got red, I got blue, I got... Why I got the uh, steel like you, you know, whatever it is. Very curious to see what you guys got. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for photos. Have a great day. And as always, God bless.